Hello everyone. Hope you are safe and doing good. Today we have one more topic to cover. That is metric thread external. Let's begin with the problem. This problem was asked in 2016 and 19 for 8 marks. Draw to scale 1 is to 1 the standard profile of a metric thread external taking a large page 40 mm give standard dimensions. Now the given pitch is 40 mm and for metric thread external first of all we are required to calculate all standard dimensions. So standard dimensions are P, value of P is 40 mm, then half of P, 0.5 of P, 20 mm and capital D is 0.86 of P, capital D 0.86 of P. 34.4 mm then small d 0.61 of p it is 24.4 mm next capital D I 8 4.25 mm last capital D by 6 5.5 6, 6, so these are standard dimensions, standard values calculated on the basis of given pitch, given pitch 40 mm. So final values are pitch 40 mm, half of pitch 20 mm, then capital D 34.4. Now for construction work, this value is not acceptable. So we'll take 34 mm for construction work. Next, small d. Again, the value is 24.4. So, we have to take 24 mm. Similarly, d by 8 and d by 6. d by 8 is 4.25. So, it's better to take 4 mm for construction work. And in place of 5.66 mm, 6 mm. So these are final values or final standard dimensions for metric thread external. Now for construction work, please draw limits of capital D and small d, limits of major dia and minor dia. So for the first limit, upper limit of major dia, draw first line parallel to your base reference, base reference or bottom edge of your sheet. And it's a thin continuous line. It's a thin continuous line. And this line is representing or showing upper limit of major dia D. Then from upper limit of major dia to upper limit of minor dia, the gap is D by 8. So from the first line to another line parallel to the first line and 4 mm apart. So the gap or distance is 4 mm. From first line, 4 mm. To another line, parallel to previous line. Then this is the upper limit, upper limit of minor dia and from upper limit to lower limit of minor dia. Gap or distance is 24. So from this line to another line parallel to previous line and the gap is 24 mm. So this gap is 24 mm. Again, this line is thin continuous line. So using light pencil, please draw another thin continuous line and this line is representing lower limit of minor dia. Then last limit or lower limit of capital B major dia, distance or gap is 6 mm. So from this line, the gap is 6 mm. Last line, the gap or distance of 6 mm from the previous line. 
So these are four limits of major and minor dia. Next, please draw vertical lines or center lines for centers. So these are center lines. 0.5 p apart. 0.5 p apart. So the distance between any two vertical lines from first line to second line. This gap or distance is half of pitch, 0.5 feet. And these lines are chain lines. So please use medium dark pencil for vertical chain or center line. Now we have the grid or frame for construction. Next step, from the bottom most corner to the top most corner, draw lines like this for flanks. So these flanks are triangles or triangular in nature. So from bottom corner to top next corner, then top corner to next bottom corner, repeat this process. And here the angle, angle between flanks, this angle is approximately 60. Now in metric thread, all crests are flat and all roots are rounded or curved. So for construction of rounded or curved roots, we have to go for the approximate method. Approximate method means random arc method. So at random. Take any center, mark any center, and try to draw rounded root passing through this point. This is the first point, and touching these two flanks tangentially. So the curve or rounded root, this portion is tangential to this line at this point. And at the same time, on these two ends, this contact is a tangential contact. So this curve is tangent at this point, then this is the second point, and on this point also. So all three contact, these three contacts are tangential contact, right? And please change radius and center for having proper tangential contact, again. Okay? Repeating the process, this is the root. Repeating the process, this is the root. This is the root. And crests are flat for last profile. This is the root. Right. And crests are flat. Crests are flat. Now join flanks with roots and crests. And for final work, please use dark pencil because this is your final outline or final answer. Now using short break line, we can decide the limits of the profile which we are going to show. Next hedging. For hedging, please draw lines parallel to each other 
at an angle of 45 from your first difference and the gap between two hedging lines is to be maintained 2 to 3 m 2 to 3 m to crest before dimensioning please use dark pencil for roots crest and flanks for roots rounded roots for crests, flat crests and for flanks please use dark pencil and next is dimension here in the gap or distance between two crests or root is pitch is equals to pitch and between root and crest is half of pitch 0.5 of p then limits of major and minor diameter d d by 8 d by 6 and capital D so this is capital D equals to 0 0.88 of P then small d equals to 0 0.61 of P then capital D by 8 and capital D by 6 at central angle angle between flanks angle between flanks is 66 sorry 60 degrees so angle between flanks in case of metric thread is 60, 60 degrees. Next please draw table for standard dimensions. Table for standard dimensions.
This is the value 34 small d is 34.4 then small d is 24.4 d by 6 is 5.6 mm 5.6 or 5.66 then d by 8 4.25 4.25 and angle 60 degree these are standard values of metric thread external in the last step, please write naming or heading So this is the final answer, profile of metric thread. Now I'll request you to please draw this problem on your sheet. Indicate angle, angle of thread between flanks 60 degrees. Pitch, half of pitch. Show all dimensions in terms of P. Then in the table, please write all related dimensions. In the last step, please write naming, name of the profile, profile of metric screw thread, external. And if you have any doubt, any problem in this thread profile or in any of the topic of engineering graphics, please write your comments in the comment section. Thank you.